sand all of these old little scrapes of bits and paint that's here. Both been neglected for a while, so we're going to scrape it all down, get it ready for a new paint job. Well, it's handy to have a smaller paint scraper than a bigger one. As you can see, the bigger ones are quite hard to get into the spots here. And the smaller one can definitely get in there. Oh, it's very important, folks. When you're scraping, it's where I goggle. Um, protective eyewear like this is much better than wearing sunglasses. I have sink on here. I also have, yeah, I got the water on here in the bathroom. Sorry, this is not the bathroom, this is an ensuite. <laughs> the bathroom is in here, but I don't have any water on in here. This is the bathroom. I haven't got the water turned on there, so what I'm trying to do at the moment, if you can hear me through this lovely loud diesel engine, I'm going to actually, is I'm pumping out the bad water from the tank. Oh, oh you're wobbly here. So the water coming out there, the water coming out is a good sign, that's all good, that's uh, engine water and that's very important in boats as far as I know is that water always has to come out on a boat. The water coming into the sink at the moment, coming out from the main tap of the marina, going into that hole there, you can see. And the, this is a small taste of rust, so if anyone knows about this please contact me. So we're trying to flush it all out through, the, through with the engine on, the pump on, flush it all out through the water. I can keep an eye on the sink here in the inside. The water is coming out not too bad there, a bit slow now in that little hole. Uh, I don't know if you can see that in the video. Let's go back inside. Ah, ah. I'm so paranoid, this is my new boat, I'm checking everywhere. Making sure I don't have any leaks. <laughs> well, wait a minute, I do have a leak. I do have a leak. Shice. Why oh, is that water running down there? Okay, I gotta turn off this water now. That's why I have a problem. I do, I do have a leak. I have a leak. Okay. Camera's still on. I'm going to show everyone what I'm seeing. Okay, a bit of a panic there. I had to stop because there was water uh, leaking down the side of the walls, as you probably can see. And there's a lot of it, and I wasn't too sure where it's coming from, or where it was going. And at the moment, it's it's just hanging around here, as you can probably see. And there was a lot of it. Like this whole area was just covered in it. It was uh, getting stuck behind here. And then the rest of it was overflowing here and going down um, out to here, down down here into the hole. And there was lots of it here, it was up the top to here. I didn't get a chance to uh, fill them in this, so I just put on the hand pump, which is great, and start pumping the water out, which is what I have. You can see that, you can't probably see it now, it's too dark. You can hear it, but it pumped out most of the water, and now I'm just getting out the excess water with the sponge. So I'm trying to uh, suss out of where the leak is coming from. And so I've turned the engine back on, water pump on, I have the tap on. Oh, there's a leak. It's not the source of all that water. See, it's coming up too high, it won't go down fast enough. Very annoying. It's a new adventure for me. And it's great fun. Coming out of the overflow. Um, and it was just coming up all over the deck here as well. And then that's where I think it just bounced back into the cabins. And because the walls are probably a bit old, it, with the overflow going outside, it was bouncing back into the sink of somewhere else. I mean, it's going out there now, as you can see. It's definitely going out. Let's go outside and see if it's going outside. So yeah, it's going out there. And. 
So the, as you can see, the overflow hasn't kicked in yet. Don't mind this water. It's the two holes up here underneath the bike rack. And that's where the water was rushing out earlier on, but it's not seen to rush out there now. I'm gonna check to make sure the hose is on. Oh, there's no water on. I could have sworn I turned that fella on. Now it's on. That's hopefully there's no leak now. I definitely turn the tap on. Okay, check two, make sure water is going in. Yeah, water's going in. Double check, yep. Okay, now the water is up on top. It's flowing out fast. Let's see, round two. Sink water on. But this is where it happened earlier on today. The overflow has to go somewhere. Hopefully not in here. I got a bit of panic earlier on because water was flushing into my boat and I hand built it out and I got the sponge for the rest of it. So this is the coolest thing ever. This is called an igloo um, and uh, the E-G-L-O-O and they're made in Italy and they're kind of a what that people used to use them with plant pots and housing estates when they'd no heating or whatever. But well. you can basically, uh, it's like a, a yuppie version of it. So you can basically buy this. It's kind of non paraffin wax. So it's kind of beeswax. And then you've got like little small mini wicks. And they're all kind of like uh, reusable. And then you basically you put a little bit of scented oil around the side here. So it's like a diffuser and a heater. And so basically you put one on. And then the heat goes into that. It's terracotta. And then you put another one on there. And then that heats the rooms. That's it all heating up in there. It's already getting quite hot. Well, amazing. And for a space this size, it's all you need to heat it. It's amazing, actually yeah. astonishing. It's like lighting the fire, you know?